everybody video here for you today surprise surprise now when i was looking around yesterday i came across a story that i was going to make a video on a couple years ago when i made a video on a nearby site but let's go down to abydos today i know a lot of you are familiar with abydos based on the temple of seti and the osirian but i made about 12 videos on other things down here pre-dynastic tombs and this mountain right here this is called the mountain of anubis right down here but the mountain of Anubis here has to do with the setting sun, the land of the dead, on the west side of the Nile. I have made a couple videos on the Devil's Punch Bowl right down here. A huge quarter of a mile tunnel going down to a burial chamber, they say, for uh, I believe a 12th dynasty king. Let's talk about what was found down here in 2013 during excavation work. A huge red-purple quartzite sarcophagus. And I'm talking huge. Here's an article coming from about seven, eight years ago. Ancient reuse, the discovery of a royal sarcophagus chamber. Joseph Wagner led the Penn Museum. Excavation work down here in Abydos. And here's a massive red purple quartzite sarcophagus chamber that was found 16 feet long. This is just a pretty incredible find, pretty unique. But they say this comes from maybe 300 miles away near Cairo or maybe from about 150 miles away near Aswan, and they think that is more likely that it came from Aswan, but still 150 miles away. Can you imagine being a worker and you get the task of bringing a 60 ton red quartzite sarcophagus 150 miles up the Nile to Abydos from Aswan? I think I would be reluctant to take on that job it says, during June 2013, excavations were underway near the base of the mountain of Anubis. They had found an area that looked promising for candidates for burials. These had appeared in magnetic mapping sandwiched between two huge ruined royal tombs. It says one of them had departed from the normal format and made use of a massive monolithic sarcophagus chamber over the top of this stone chamber, which is sunk about four feet into the desert sand. A roughly constructed brick vaults and access shaft had once been fitted. The stone chamber, however, is not original to the location. It is a reused royal sarcophagus chamber. As the sarcophagus chamber slowly emerged from the sand, we were astounded by its size, measuring 16 feet long, 7 feet wide, and 7.5 feet high. The block weighs about 60 tons. Now here's when they got down to the ground. This was over seven and a half feet high, seven feet across. And then this niche in it is about nine feet long. There is about 17, 18 workers just sitting in the niche. And then there is a square niche here, about three feet square that they think was for canopic jars. Now that is one massive piece of stone, single piece of stone for a burial chamber. You notice there's nothing inscribed on it, but they say the sarcophagus would have gone in the long rectangular area and then the top niche here right here at the top that's where the canopic jars would have been placed is that the real feature of this well i have no problem with this could it be from egyptian history well it could be but they say it's reused now here is part of the tomb associated with that huge sarcophagus and this comes from the second intermediate period of egyptian history just a very hazy time, very murky, not a lot is known. And the fact that they didn't even know who this king was coming from this time period kind of says that. And there was multiple, maybe dynasties going on at the same time. But here is a look inside of the tomb, some art, Newt and Neith and the wing discs there and the Wajidis there. Here is a follow-up to that 2014 article, New Forensic Evidence Confirms Violent Death of Pharaoh Senebke, and he was an unknown ruler of a lost dynasty. It says, newly discovered Pharaoh at Abydos, part of forgotten Egyptian dynasty, offers new answers and more questions about Egypt 3,600 years ago. He may have led a king's life, but new forensic evidence gleaned from the remains of Pharaoh Senebke indicates that the Egyptian ruler died in a battle, the earliest known Pharaoh to have done so, viciously attacked by multiple assailants. Now, it's all a little confusing how they attach the huge burial chamber, that huge chunk of quartzite, 60 tons in the tomb here, in the skeleton. It's kind of confusing how they kind of attach these all together, but I will leave these links below if you want to read it. 
But just concluding here, it says, We are at an exciting juncture in the archaeological work of the Mountain of Anubis. We can see the site contains the tombs of earlier and more powerful kings from Egypt's late Middle Kingdom, but it also served as a necropolis of later kings ruling from the Second Intermediate Period. Senebke ruled near the beginning of this dynasty. Indications are that we have the tombs of the entire Abydos dynasty in the necropolis at this site. The kings of the Abydos dynasty appeared to have linked themselves with their more illustrious forebears of the Middle Kingdom, but they also availed themselves of the materials from at least one of those earlier kings' tombs. It was one of the later kings of this group who was responsible for reusing the sarcophagus chamber of Sobek Hotep I. We have pre-dynastic burials in Abydos. I think I did a video on one or two of those tombs from kings coming before the first dynasty. Was this reused from something earlier? Did this come from 3,600 years ago from this lost dynasty? A lot of stuff is reused in Egypt. I think that is a good question. But this niche in here is about nine feet long. Senebke, how big was he? Well, he was about five feet ten. I just thought this is a very interesting story. This is a pretty unique find, 16 feet long, seven feet high. This is a massive piece of red purple quartzite. There are only two places in Egypt where this is found. One by Cairo, about 300 miles away. Another by Aswan, about 150 miles away. Whoever ordered this, they had to be super important. This had to take a long time to build, and they say up to two years maybe. A lot of great mysteries in Egypt. This is Abydos here. This is a mountain of Anubis. And this is a royal necropolis down here. They say comes from 3,600 years ago. Could some things in this area go way back in time? I think that's a possibility, but that is a video here for you today. Ancient Egypt. Let's get aligned here. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very nice day.